Thanks, guys. I'm Darius, and I'm here at the BJC with uh, Aaron Ryan, Alex Gilliland, and John Blaufelt, and we're going to do a basketball season recap. Now, looking at the Lions this year, they have a 13-11 record, which has been a little bit of a bounce-back season from the atrocious season they had last year. Aaron, who do you think has stepped up and really proved themselves to be the leader on the Nittany Lions for their comeback season this year? Got to be honest, what I'm seeing this year that we didn't see last year at all was Jeff Brooks. Where was he? I mean, we saw Taylor Battle. It was the Taylor Battle show last year. This year, really, really kicked it into gear. He is the leading rebounder. He's the best defender that we have in the paint right now. And he's also the second leading scorer in games such as Purdue. When Taylor couldn't put up the points, Jeff Brooks came right in and he scooped it for them as well. I think that he really got into gear when he realized it's his senior season and he doesn't have much time left. Definitely. And Alex, in your opinion, who else has been able to step it up for the Nittany Lions to bring them to this, I guess, better season? Still not perfect, but they are improving. Who do you think is standing out for them? I feel like Tim Frazier has been a huge X factor uh, at this point in the season. He's one of those guys that does the little things in the game. He's the one that sets the screens. He's the one that uses his quickness to open up the offense for the Nittany Lions. And when he can start shooting and he can start making baskets, that's when he's really going to prove to be that X factor for this Nelly Line basketball team. Definitely, and he opens up Taylor Battle for more scoring, which, I mean, he is a true scorer, and Tim Frazier's really allowing that to happen. Now, I want to look at some of the key games here, John. Where did Penn State succeed heavily this year? What game stands out in your mind? Well, Penn State had that string of wins uh, where they beat Michigan State 66-62, to uh, 62, Illinois 57-55. to 55. Both of these teams were ranked at the time, so really big, significant wins for Penn State at the time. And then the loss against Ohio State and Purdue. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say that they were good losses because no loss really is a good loss, yeah. but when you lose to such good teams like that by a very slight margin, you know, that shows that you're a competitive team and that you're going to be there for the long run in the Big Ten tournament and make it, maybe be in contention for the NCAA uh, tournament. While that's true, I definitely have to agree as far as the loss with Purdue is concerned. I don't think, I thought that they kept up the pace so well throughout the entire game. I'm astounded that with 18 seconds left, they couldn't push it out for that extra five. They really couldn't. They were winning with two seconds left on the clock. Right. Their hands should have been up and that basket should not have gone in. We weren't expecting to win against that team anyway. Right. When you come that close, you can't drop it at the last two seconds of the game. That's Very when you should true. be trying your hardest. I completely agree. If you get beat because they have better talent, that's okay. But if you get forced out because you don't put out the effort, that's unacceptable. Now, really quick, I want to look forward to the rest of the season. We have Ohio State coming up, and then we have the Big Ten Championship, as well as the NCAA Tournament. Now, Alex, what do you think their chances are going forward? I feel like for the rest of the season, they're going to have to get some absolutely huge wins to bolster this resume that has a few non-conference losses and big time uh, bad losses weighing down the resume. And I feel like they're going to have to beat Ohio State and Minnesota at home. And also, they're going to have to at least make the semifinal weekend in the Big Ten tournament to have any shot with the selection committee choosing them to make their first NCAA tournament appearance under the cellos. Definitely. And John, really quick, tell me. Big Ten Championship, do they have a chance against the good teams in the Big Ten? You know, Penn State has shown thus far that they really can't compete with any team in the Big Ten and really in the country. So I feel like if they come in with a lot of energy, and it really depends on if Jeff Brooks can play well and mm -hmm. Taylor Battle can play well, those two leaders for this Penn State team, if they can come out and play well for their Nittany Lion team, you never know. They always have a shot, and they've shown mm -hmm. thus far that they can make a run in the Big Ten tournament. All right, well, looking forward, I hope that they'll be able to make that March Madness push that we all hope for. We'll see what comes up in the future. This is a recap on Darius uh, for Aaron, Alex, and John. Back to you guys at the studio.